Hey there guys, this is Mason Velez and and today is episode one, uh, yeah, episode 20 of the Metal Album Review Series. So, today's Metal Album Review is Acre Cocky's The Goat of Mendez, but I will not show you the artwork of, of this album because... Because this artwork uh, of the Goat of Mendes album by Acre Cocky uh, violates the terms and service of community guidelines. So, yeah, don't even ask me to show to show you all people an artwork. All right, so uh, this album was was recorded in April two thousand one, and. And it was released on the same day where, yeah, the two terrorists hijacked the airplanes and crashed the fucking Twin Tower. And that, and that was very sad. We were very upset. Yeah, we were very upset that the 9-11 attack was existed. I wish it wasn't existed because I hate terrorism. And... Yeah, it's September 11th, 2001. It's the day where... It's the day where 9-11 was started and the Slayer band was was about to release the... The God Hates, Hates Us All album. Well... But still, we were upset because of the terrorist attacks of shit. That was cringe. So yeah, well, uh, two albums. Yeah, the two albums. Uh, yeah, the fans of death metal uh, uh, would be cheered up if they listened to these two albums, which is Acre Cocky, The Goat of Mendes, and Slayer's God Hates Us All. But mostly, it's still the worst. Even though that Acre Cocky and Slayer released two albums, but in different record labels and different metal genres. So. The genre is black and death metal, but I prefer brutal death metal because of the way that the vocalist sounded like in the introduction of this album. And the length is about 56 minutes and 38 seconds long, so yeah, I guess we call it uh, the longest album on Acre Cocky history. It was released on Peaceville Records. Yeah, the same company which was re- which gets their albums released from Opethan, Autopsy, and Dark Throne, and Vital Remains. And I just heard that Skylar Hawkins told Enos Thomas, or should I say Chloe Enos Thomas, that uh, that uh, rarity comedian has 666 videos. Yeah, rarity comedian, rarity and Heather comedian is. Chloe Enos Thomas. Well, I'm not talking about... Yeah, I'm not talking about some random stuff right now. We're just uh, we're just going to talk about death, a brutal death metal album, which is The Go to Mendes by, by Iker Kaki. All right, so now let's get on with the track list of menstrual blood and semen, a skin for dancing in, betwixt and quatatis and prostigators. Horns of Bath, Helmet, Masks of God, The Serpent, Fortune, My Foe, Infernal Rites, He is Rising, Breaking Silence, Entitation, and the Ceremony of Nine Angles. Well, anyways, so numbers one, two, four, eight. And 12 are my favorite songs. Yeah, they are my most favorite songs from this album. Uh, but but on track number 12, yeah, which is my favorite last track of this album, uh, I think the female backing up vocals is uh, just bothering me uh, while I play this fucking song. I don't know. I just, I just don't like... In my opinion, I just don't like having, uh, I just do not like to have 
female vocals uh, in this album. It's my opinion. If you guys, if you guys like it, I respect your opinion. But I prefer brutal death growls. Yeah, brutal death metal growls like this shit. <laughs> Yeah, that must be the fucking Axiom song that I'm, that I tested out my vocals and shit. Yeah, the fucking Axiom is from, that's from the, yeah, that was from the Antichrist album from, from Anchor Cocky, which, which is called Axiom. Yeah, the song called Axiom from the Antichrist album. But anyways, and besides, I am not into Satanism. I just like the songs about it. So the entitation is the... Is the shortest song, and the ceremony of nine angles is the longest. So, I just heard the, I just saw the two music videos from this album, Horns of Baphomet and Infernal Rites. The Horns of Baphomet was uh was cool. Yeah, it was awesome. Just like, yeah, the band members were playing the fucking shit. But I just do not like. Like the scene where these, where I don't know, I don't want to talk about it. Well, it, and the good, good thing is that the scene of this music video where uh, Jason Badaka and either David Gray or shit, I don't know. Yeah, they were playing checkers. <laughs> yeah, it was fucking, fucking good. And the Infernal Rights, yeah, it, it's it's cool, but. I just do not like the nude scene of the Infernal Rights song, so... Anyways, if you guys want to watch these two music videos from this album, go right a fucking head. Everyone knows. But if you do not want to, I, uh, I respect your opinion. So, yeah, two links are in the description below. Now let's get on with the release. So the Goat of Mendez was released in a standard and a digipack CD format. The album included a music video for Infernal Rights. A video for Horns of Bath Homewood was also released in 2001. Dean Sedan at the time, vocalist of Symphonic Black Metal Band, Hectic Ethron provided backing vocals for the track The Serpent. Hmm. I wonder if I can listen to this Serpent track from this Acre Cocky album called The Goat of Mendes. I haven't listened to the Serpent track yet. Acre Cocky drummer and lyric writer, lyric songwriter, David Grade has remarked that The Goat of Mendes is in my opinion our best album. Well, I gotta agree with you Acre Cocky band members. I fucking like this album. Yeah, the Krang, Roxanne, and Terrorizer had favorable ratings, but the Chronicles of Chaos has had 8.5 out of 10. But oh well. So anyways, I give this album a 10 plus out of 10. It was fucking awesome. Awesome uh, grindcore and brutal death metal vocals. Awesome guitar playing. Awesome guitar solos. Awesome drums. And awesome bass guitars. And awesome keyboards and synthesizers or shit like this. So right before I stop this video, I just want to give a message to to the company of Peaceville. Hey Peaceville, I just want to let you let you all people know that you and the anchor cocky. Band members are fucking awesome. I like th I like this album that you released, which is the Goat of Mendes. But yeah, but in my opinion, I, I am not into Satanism. I just like the song. I just like brutal death metal albums and and awesome albums. So, anyways, I like it. And for the rest of you guys, if you don't like this album, I respect your opinion. If you guys got any requests, I'll, I'll, I'll do your request starting by next week. This is Mason Velez signing out. Peace out, metal fans.